If you are struggling with seeing yourself as beautiful and seeing your body as beautiful exactly how you are right now, losing weight is not going to help that. I promise you. Hey guys, I'm Whitney. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you have an eating disorder or are in the early stages of recovery, I really try to keep any triggering content out of my videos so you will never hear me say anything to do with numbers or anything like that but there is always a potential to be triggered by, for example, in this video, we're gonna be talking about dieting for a specific event. So just please be warned by that. And if I say anything, please let me know in the comments and I will do my best to you know, be mindful of that going forward. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I have like a little over 20 subscribers right now and I am like stoked on it. So let's, let's keep that going. I really, <laughs> that's sad. And then like this video, Follow me on Instagram, <laughs> one of my social media, Instagram, Facebook, at Trust Your Gut Project. So the question, how do I lose weight before Coachella? This question came to me because I am going to Coachella in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, I go to music festival and I have done that thought. Like I've crash dieted for festivals, I've um, tried to restrict for fest festivals and failed miserably, which we'll get into why that happens. Um, and this doesn't just apply to music festivals. This applies to summer, especially with like bikini season coming up. Like, which is just... So I'm just here to help you take apart some of this messaging and some of these pressures that we feel as women to look a certain way, especially with summer coming up, and hopefully empower you guys to be able to shut down those negative thoughts when they come up that say, I need to lose weight before an event. I'm not bikini ready. I'm not, you know, I don't look good enough for Coachella. I'm not ready for this. And you're frantically searching online at like midnight for diets that help you lose X amount of weight in like three days or whatever it is. Here are the steps that I want you to go through in order to make sure that you can like put those negative thoughts on a pause, really look at them strategically, and then make an action plan that's actually going to be healthy and effective for your longevity and your life. So the first step that I want you to do, just stop and breathe gonna be okay it's all gonna be it's all gonna be okay you know sometimes we get so tunneled vision and our negative thoughts and it starts to spin out the issue is we don't feel confident and then we start to spin 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 and then all of a sudden we end up on this like detox website that is promising us like a flat tummy with whatever magical juice they're selling for like $80 a bottle understand the marketing behind that, understand how they are capitalizing on your fears and insecurities, take a deep breath, maybe get off the internet for a hot second and work through these steps with me. So once you've taken a second to breathe and relax, I want you to think about why it is that you want to do this diet. Is it because you want to look good in front of someone? Is it because you wanna look good in clothes that you think you're supposed to wear to Coachella? Wear whatever you want, but feel good in what you're wearing. Don't wear something because you think that you're supposed to wear that certain thing and then end up hating your body in it the entire time. It doesn't matter what size you are. You should just feel good about whatever you decide to wear. Be honest, really take a second and understand what triggered this thought because there's always a trigger, okay. The thing that triggered it was, I don't feel like I'm gonna feel confident in the body that I have now. The trap with getting ready for an event and the trap with dieting is this mindset of it hasn't worked every other time I've tried this diet, but this time it will because this time's different because this time I really want it because like it's Coachella. Like I really, really, really want it this time. That's a lie. That is a lie. That is a trick. That is the seduction of dieting. This time it's gonna work. It's not gonna work because restriction doesn't work because you wanna know what happens when you restrict from your body? Your body thinks that it's starving and it goes out of its way to eat. Maybe you successfully diet all the way until the event, but then you get to the event and you're either so burned out from not getting enough calories and not getting enough nutrients before the event that you can't even like see straight or you've been so obsessed with dieting that you didn't even allow yourself to get excited for the event and like enjoy your friends and enjoy this, this like excitement of leading up to it. Or when you get to the event and you're so starved of 
food, you're so starved of love because the act of dieting and restricting to fix your body is draining on your love. So you're so starved by the time you get to the event that you end up overeating, really focusing on food, you know, ah, I'm finally free, now I can eat anything I want. And you get full to the point of actual physical pain and you can't even enjoy the event because then you're hating yourself, you're spinning out in your head, you can't talk to your friends about it because you don't wanna be that person who's like spinning out about food but you feel powerless to control all of this. Either way, there's no good outcome. There is not a single good outcome that's gonna come from a crash diet for a specific event. Now you're in this position where you're like, okay, why don't I feel good about myself? And this is when it gets a little more difficult, a little more challenging, and you've got to be honest with yourself. What is it? Is it because you feel like you don't deserve love in the body that you have now? Is it because you feel like you don't deserve to feel good in your body, maybe because you've never felt good in your body and this is just normal. And the idea of feeling good in your body almost feels like guilty. You feel guilty about it or like, or like how could I possibly love my body the way it looks now because I don't look like them. And they're allowed to love their bodies, but I'm not allowed to love mine until I look like them. What is happening underneath that is simply just a story that you are telling yourself about the love that you deserve and the body that you have. Because it's never about the food, it's never about the event, it's always about you. So I really want you to take some time and deconstruct that, cry about it, you know, talk to your friends about it, and then start telling yourself how much you deserve love. So if you have found yourself in this spiral and you've gone through all of these steps so far, you need to find a new response. I want you to write a letter to yourself. Sit down with no distractions, no technology, no nothing, and write a very honest letter to yourself that describes what event is coming up, what triggered you, what has happened in the past when you've tried to diet for events, and why this time you're not going to diet for an event. And then I want you to end the letter with a couple positive affirmations. One of the affirmations can be something like, I deserve to love my body no matter what. Another affirmation can be a little promise to yourself, like, I'm not gonna buy clothes for this event that make me feel bad about my body. I'm only going to wear things to this event that make me feel very good and confident, even if it's not what other people would wear to this event. I wanna feel good in my skin. All these positive affirmations are going to be so powerful to you because the next step <laughs> is I want you to read this letter every single day until the event. It doesn't have to be very long, but it does need to end on a positive note. My body deserves more than to be put through this restrictive and mentally abusive process before this event because I deserve to love my body regardless of how it looks. I deserve to continue living my life as if this event weren't coming up, as if I was just living my life. Because you are. Just because there's an event doesn't mean that you need to change the way you live your life. You're just going to that event. Make sure to be realistic about this. Avoid going down internet rabbit holes and like succumbing to marketing seduction. It's only gonna make you feel miserable and it's only gonna set you back. This is going to be really scary to write this letter, but if something that you've been doing your entire life isn't working, you just need to find a new way to do it. And by writing this letter, you are empowering yourself to rewrite the story in your head. You're empowering yourself to create a new outcome for yourself. I love you guys. If you end up writing this letter, please let me know in the comments. You guys have a lot of things to tell me in the comments. Sorry, I've given you way too many calls to action. <gasps> Keep me updated on your guys' journeys. I'm doing this for you. So please, please, please keep me updated. Okay, bye.